in this group of sessions, so give me a wave when you next indicate. Thank you. Uh, Sarah Bats Neil. Still waving there, thank you. We are at three minute speech limits uh, from here, thank you. Um, after Bishop Rose, can I have the lady in the blue stripy shirt? Thank you. Dan Leathers, 153 Liverpool. This is my maiden speech. I was given that voice. In 2008, it uh, was my first York Synod as a General Synod um, representative for the Church of England Youth Council. Um, it was uh, an incredible experience. It was a difficult debate, but overall it was really positive the way that I saw our church do business even in difficult times. Um, as uh, a 19 year old youth representative, um, I had the opportunity to address the Synod and I spoke on the climate change bill, um, I, I particularly encouraging um, a moving from fossil fuels to renewable resources. Um, and, and I made the point to Synod that the, the decisions that are made in this house, um, or, or in this Synod, um, have repercussions for the future. Um, there is an inheritance of uh, our young people who take on the church. Um, having a voice at the Synod at, at the young age uh, meant so much to all those that I represented, both on the Church of England Youth Council, but also I was chairing the Darson um, Youth Council of Derby Diocese at the time. Uh, that experience has inspired me um, to commit my life to young people, um, now as an ordained minister. Uh, youth ministry is top of the priority uh, of what we do in um, St. Mark's, uh, where I'm from. The passage that really uh, lived with me, but particularly because it was what we looked at as the, as the Youth Council regularly, was 1 Timothy 4.12, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Because the church I was born into and to which I have committed the rest of my life and ordained ministry, because that church listened to me as a young person, it's equipped me to listen deeply to all young people. Um, uh, I had the uh, opportunity recently to, I just rearranged our schedule, our young people for the first time since I arrived said we're ready to lead a youth service. So I spent some time with them um, just in one Sunday morning uh, session just exploring what it looks like to lead a service. And you know they gave me some really helpful feedback, really good feedback, encouraging feedback about our services. They also gave me a number of uncomfortable home truths, um, including, I mean one of the, one of the key things was don't speak down to us don't try to get to our level speak to us on an equal footing and I heard myself saying the same thing to my dad and the leaders of the church I was in at that age and particularly youth work in every parish where that is possible we need to make it possible we have a very messy Wednesday night youth group every week we've been doing it for three years we've seen young people's lives changed and transformed what they come back for is love each and every time so um, I just speak in support of this motion. We need you at our table. So, no, support this motion.